It will depend on a number of things. It will depend on uh, the uh, United Nations, how quickly, uh, how soon are they ready to come uh, to Syria. It will uh, depend on um, the agreement, which sites they want to visit first. Um, it will probably uh, depend also on the situation on the ground, because, uh, as you know, the war is uh, still raging in Syria. But to my mind, and basically that's what we think in Moscow, the most important thing is to have the general agreement of all sides for this solution, because uh, t two days ago, actually one day ago, we were on the brink of a big regional war and uh, the stakes were extremely high. Today we have a working proposal by uh, the Russian Foreign Ministry, which seems to have been accepted by President Obama, by James Cameron, uh, by the European Union, by Pan Ki-moon, the General Secretary of the United Nations, and by Damascus. So I think that now we have to strengthen this general agreement. We uh, cannot allow to those who would like to strike Syria at any cost. Uh, to come back to this uh, military plan. Let me take you back 24 hours. Was this plan inspired by the words of John Kerry yesterday? As far as we can judge, uh, and as far as uh, we can trust what uh, President Obama said, he discussed this possible option with President Putin during their short meeting on the G20. So, as far as I understand, this was aired even before John Kerry um, mentioned this possibility. Um, as for John Kerry uh, remark, I have to say that it was a very unconvincing remark, I would say, because he uh, said that if um, Assad agrees uh, to bring his uh, chemical uh, arsenals under international control, America would consider the possibility of not striking. And then he said, but of course it will never happen, because we don't trust Assad and he will never do, do this. Uh, and uh, one hour later, the State Department uh, basically denied what Kerry said, and uh, uh, they said that it was a rhetorical um, sentence. Uh, Kerry just was thinking aloud about some possible scenarios uh, about which the American side is extremely skeptical. And then Susan Rice, the uh, uh, Obama's assistant on uh, national security, said it will never happen. Just don't don't think it is possible. It's just completely impossible out of the question. Uh, so. Americans first aired this idea and then started to play back. And it took Obama's uh, personal appearance uh, on ABC uh, in the evening uh, to uh, hear that uh, the American side will agree for such a scenario. So um, I would be really at pain to um, point out that John Kerry as the author of this idea. The French say they want a resolution under Chapter 7 of the UN saying force may be used if Syria doesn't comply with handing over its chemical weapons. Do you accept that? I don't think uh, Syria uh, will not comply. I think it's uh, absolutely in the interests uh, of the Syrian people, of the Syrian government, uh, and of President Assad uh, to uh, bring those weapons under international control. But so, what if they don't? Would you then agree to the resolution? I would not venture that far. Because I don't see any signs that would uh, preclude them from doing this, and I don't see any interest of the Syrian government to do this. So the French government wants to um, sound uh, very resolved and decisive and so on and so on, uh, actually playing a very minor role in the whole story. Uh, Paris uh, shows himself a big warrior. Well, it's up to them. But uh, I think that all those assertions uh, do not look credible for me because uh, uh, the Syrian government wants uh, to um, prevent this war and we want to prevent this war and so I, I don't think they will not apply. Let's talk about the practicalities then. Decommissioning actually on the ground. Would Russian troops be prepared to go in to help the process? It will be an international effort. It will be a United Nations effort. I don't think that uh, national troops will be brought to Syria, national contingents will be brought to Syria. Uh, it will be up to the United Nations and it will be United Nations responsibility and United Nations operation under the auspices of the uh, Security Council and on the basis of the Security Council resolution. But would that include Russian troops? Would you be happy to see that? It is not discussed uh, in Russia at this point. 
so uh, I am really uh, I, I don't think I can answer your question because uh, there were no statements ba made by uh, neither President Putin nor Mr. Lavrov. Uh, I think we are still not at the stage where this is being uh, considered.